You know what they say about bots who are yellow. They're not hard to find in a crowd. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Repugnus! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some really cool artwork there of Repugnus. We have Dastard and Repugnus. On this side of the box, we have another cool piece of artwork there of Repugnus, as well as uh, the other two monster bots there in the background. On this side of the box, Power of the Primes with the Prime Master symbols. On the top, Titans Return. On the bottom, Words and Things and Barcodes. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. It does this at the other things and stuff. And you have a bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages. And when you open up the front flap here, obviously in here is where the figure sits. And you have a little story run down there as well, if that interests you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Repugnus, the last of the Monster Bot Trio, and he's a pretty cool figure. Um, here he is in his monster mode, and it looks it looks weird, but hey, it's a monster, so works works for him. works works perfectly for him. <laughs> he's supposed to look weird, isn't he? It, yeah, I mean, what, yeah, yeah, works. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. At that head sculpt, you can see the nice transclearant green plastic there for the eyes. Actually, the whole top of the head is done in that transclearant green, and this brown is just painted on, so the whole head is painted. Um, but actually looks really, really nice. Got Autobot symbol right there on the top of the head. You got some spots of gold up there as well. You got the big mandibles going on. And you can see you have that transclearant green right here on his chest with the yellow under the road. His big old claws. And he has some tampographed details here going down the leg. He's got his hairy calves, his claws, his butt, his back. There you go. Now, articulation wise, uh, if you untab the head, you can get the head to move up and down, and that's pretty much all the articulation you get there. Uh, the mouth can open and close. You can, you can do that. Uh, the arms can move up that far. They kind of move the head out of the way, but you can move the arms up that far. You can move them in. That's more for transformation than anything else, but they do move in, and you can rip his forearm off. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hey, you, that, mm. Mm -hmm. It's the first time that's happened. <laughs> yeah, the arms move in. Uh, the elbows, as you saw, are on a ball joint, so you have rotation, and you do have 90 degrees of a bend. You could move the claws if you need them to move. The legs can rotate, and the knee can bend. And you also have the toes, which can move down due to transformation. And that is pretty much it. Oh, and for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, fans' hobby, Repugnus. Just so you can see how they look together. And here he is with the little Titan Master Repugnus. And uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> they look like a little family. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. And here he is with his other monster bot buddies. You can see how they all look together. So now let's talk about his Titan Master. Here we have Dastard. And Dastard is done in yellow and brown and gray. And you can see here his head sculpt is quite monstrous as well. Looks pretty cool. Got the big belly button screw. Painted his toes. And then you have the upside down face on the back. Articulation wise, the standard Titan Master articulation. Head is on a ball joint. The shoulders are on a ball joint. The hips are on a hinge. The knees can move either way. And yeah, a couple things you can do with Dastard here. Uh, 
Repugnus here does have the two posts on his back, so you can just take Dastard and just kind of plug him on there and have him in a weird position on Repugnus's back. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it, uh, but you can also open up this compartment here on Repugnus's chest and get Dastard into a seating position and... Dastard can just sit in there and pilot the monster bots. So, you got that going on if you want to. You do also get a bonus Prime Master. So, we get a new Solus Prime who is a female. Uh, so, here we have Solus Prime. And uh, she is done almost entirely out of transparent plastic. There's the, uh, the symbol there. On the back, you can see all done in that transparent plastic with the blue and black painted on. Uh, everything from the knees up is actually done in the transparent plastic and then painted over. Uh, the the lower legs are the only thing that's actually molded in the gray plastic, but all of this is painted. Um, you can see, it looks pretty nice though. Um, just for comparison, here it is with the original Solus Prime that came with Octo Punch. So you can see the difference there in the coloration. And there's the back. There you go. Um, what can you do with this? Again, you can just kind of plug it back here if you want, or store it in the chest. Whatever you want to do, but you get a bonus Prime Master here with Repugnus. You do also get some weaponry here with this figure. You get two of these big old blades, which are done in the transclear and green with the brown paints. They look pretty cool. I like them. You can store them on Repugnus himself. There are tabs right here, slots right up there. And you can just take them and just slot them in right there for storage if you wish. Or you can take them, actually let me get, uh, let me get Dastard out. Come here, come here. Come here. Come, come here. Thank you. Thank you. We can take the swords and we can link them together. Like so. And we can take Dastard. Or you can take Solus Prime, whatever you want to do. And just peg their feet on right there. Which can be a little hard to do. Get, get on there. Get on there. Get. Come on. There you go. I have Dastard sitting there in a big old murder sled. Sure. Why not? Dare I say why not? And you can take the murder sled and you can plug it onto either shoulder. There are slots right there. And you can just tab it on. And there you go. There you have Repugnus with the murder sled on his shoulder. <laughs> hey. Why not? Why not? There you have that. But there you have it for the monster mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing you want to do is just take the toes and just bring them down. Take the legs, bring them back like so. You want to take these sections here and just untab them. And they do tab on quite securely. There we go. So untab those. Untab those. You see this tab goes into the center slot. There are actually three slots here, but it goes into the center one. So take these and just bring them out to the sides. That will allow you to then fold the legs down or unfold the legs and split the legs. Take the section, swing that around, rotate the foot. Got that all done. Second verse, just like the first, bring it down, rotate. And there you got the legs all done. And now for the upper body, you just take the claw, fold it in. Rotate the section here, fold this in, and then bring this whole assembly in. That will just tab into the chest right there. Same thing on the other side, fold it in, bring that arm up, rotate, fold, tab it in. Now you got that done. Now you come back here, untab the robot arms, untab, bring it down, rotate at the bicep so your elbow is oriented properly, flip out the hands. There you go, on top, bring down, rotate, flip, and now you got the arms all done. If you want to get really, really kind of freaky about it, you can kind of, you can do this. 
he's a monster, so this fits. You can tell you have this going on. Just have some weird four-armed monster. Ah! Have that going on? If hey, hey, you know, I'm just saying. It's a thing you can do. It's a thing. Ah! Just ripped this claw off. That's not what I meant to do, man. I'm so sorry. Ah! Why is this happening? No. I'm a monster! <clears throat> what were we doing? Oh, we were transforming this guy. We're transforming him. That's what we're doing. We're transforming. Sorry. That's, that's, uh, okay. <clears throat> Back to business. So once you have all that done, you just take the head here. You untab it from the body, bring it back, and it will just tab in right back there. And hey, close your mouth, man. There you go. And now he needs a head. He needs a head. So we bring in Dastard. Just fold him in half. Plug him on. And there you have Repugnus in his robot mode. And he looks cool. I dig the robot mode design on this guy. I do quite dig him. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. You can see done all in yellow with the green there for the eyes. Autobot symbol there on the chest. Take a look at his new arms. A little bit of gray there on the forearm. The hips done in brown and white. You get some yellow in there. Little big old feet. Big old heel spurs. On the back, he just has the monster head as the backpack, as he should. So it's accurate back package. But yeah. I dig him. I dig him. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you have that wiggly waggly, can rotate, all that good stuff. Arms can do a full 360, they can go in and out. You got bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. Uh, you just have inward movement at the wrist due to transformation, uh, nothing at the waist. Legs go forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have a nice deep knee bend there due to transformation over 90 degrees. And the feet can move down and they can rotate. And you can, you know, do that if you want to. You can break his ankles. Pretty much all you can do. Ah! Ah! I've had a bad day! Ah! Just saying, it's all things you can do. All just, all just things you can do, if you want to do them. <laughs> anyway. So they have that, and of course we can give him his weapons. Um, you can store them on his back, and I think it's pretty cool how this works. Uh, which side goes where? Okay, you have this side which has the tab in the center portion, and that goes into this slot right back here, like so. And then you have the tab that goes into this slot, right there. And you can store them on his back. And I think that looks pretty cool how that stores there. So you can store the weapons on his back if you want to. Of course, you can have him wielding his blades. You can have him holding them like so, if you wish. We can slash, 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 and do all kinds of that. Or if you want to, and this is what I like to do, this is kind of my favorite way to display him, is you have these uh, these tabs on either side of the forearm, and both sides have them, so you can do this on either side. But you have these slots right here, and you can just tab the one blade on the one side, and tab the other blade on the other side, and then link the two together, like so, and just give him this big double arm blade. And I think that's really cool. I like that. I dig that, so that's how I display them. But as always, your toy, display it however you wish. Now, if you bought the little Titan Master Repugnus, you got a display option here because this one has a, if I can hold on to it, this one has a different head sculpt. So you got an option there if you want to take advantage of it. So, we can take this head off and plug this head on, and you can have Repugnus looking like that if you want. So, totally up to you which one you like better. Me, personally, I do think I like this one better. This might be the one that I actually leave on him, because I just kind of dig that look a bit better. 
this is not a bad head sculpt, but that one, I just, I just think that, I think it just looks better, but hey, that's just me, as always, your toy, do what you want with it, do what you want, it's yours, you paid your money for it, you do what you want with it. But there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the Fantabi version, as you can see how they look together, and again, little, little Titan Master version, there you go, hey look, the family, it's the family, so there you have that, and here he is with his monster bots comrades so you can see how they all look together and they look quite nice together nice set of monster bots there in my opinion anyway so there you have repugnus um he's a cool figure i dig him i personally think it's kind of cool that they managed to get all three monster bots out of essentially the same figure they do share parts, but there's also a lot of remolding between the three, so uh, yeah, it's it's really cool how they managed to pull that off. But yeah, uh, Repugnus, you know, he looks good, he feels good, the transformation is enjoyable, it's just an all-around fun figure to mess with. You get the little bonus Prime Master as well, which is cool. So yeah, all in all, I dig it, and I'm happy to uh, finally have all three of the Monster Bots in the main line. It's cool, so there you go! Now this figure is an Amazon exclusive, so check Amazon for availability. For all your other Transformers needs, you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Repugnus, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, boom in your face! Hey guys! Guys! Ah! How'd you end up with my head? I don't know, I just woke up like this. Hey guys, have you noticed? Ah! I know! What's going on? I don't know what happened to our heads. Who would do something like this? Oh, he is sick.